She's been um, very well involved with ECMEC for many years and uh, she's been in the legislature, sixth term I believe, in the, in the legislature and uh, I'll let you say a couple of words. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you and uh, nice to see you again, Commissioner. We were together yeah. this morning at the, uh, the Governor's Council for reading uh, and had a very exciting meeting and the Commissioner, of course, is always very good about attending all those extra meetings. But I don't know how she works into her agenda, but uh, uh, reading is uh, very special to the commissioner and me and to all of you, I hope. So uh, the actions that were taken this morning at the council were uh, indeed uh, for the best uh, for our teachers and our young people. Uh, but uh, Mark, I want to give ECMET uh, just a little remembrance here of uh, your 25 years. and. Uh, you can open it later and see what it is. But I serve on the Sesquicentennial Commission mm -hmm. and uh, have included some special things in regard to uh, our 150th year uh, as state in Minnesota. So uh, it isn't really uh, germane to Eckman. <laughs> you won't forget it in 2008, it was your 25th year. So <coughs> congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Mark was an outstanding student. <laughs> Put up with the taskmaster. <laughs> but really, uh, when Mark asked me to come today, it was because I wanted to honor Steve. So, uh, Mr. Hallen, you better come up here. Uh, when uh, when I first began in the alternative program, because that's really how I got connected with Steve Hallen, it was uh, I think 1977 or so, and. It was called, you know, that after school or that Saturday, but usually after school or summer uh, courses or a course for uh, our students who were lacking some credits. And it was basically called night school. And so I uh, taught in that uh, from my classroom in Princeton uh, for several years. And then along came Steve Hallen and Steve Allen who challenged me to get on TV and do the same thing I was doing in what was called night school, although at a much classier, uh, you know, uh, arrangement, because now I'm just going to be televising myself all around. So, uh, I, you know, I think, Steve, I just had a lot of trepidation when you challenged me with that. But once he taught me the basic skills of teaching on uh, uh, teaching on interactive and knowing how to uh, get my students at the other sites. It might have been Pine City, it might have been Malacca, it might have been Cambridge, uh, and uh, uh, or Mora. Uh, it was so exciting because the students did really get engaged. And yes, Steve knew I was a taskmaster, and so that's probably why he challenged me to this because I've always set high expectations for my students and thought, uh, you know, students uh, learning by way of interacting isn't going to make, it make a bit of difference as long as I have them engaged and they know what it is they need to do to succeed. It wasn't for me they were doing this, but uh, for them to succeed. And Steve guided me then through all those years, especially in the 90s, because I taught after school. Uh, I can't remember if I taught on Saturdays very often, but after school, at night and all summer. So I basically just talk year round. But I couldn't have done any of that without the guidance of Steve because if we had a technological problem, I had to call Steve. If we were making some different arrangement for students at another we site, I had to call Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, this man is a man who's an innovator and he's a risk taker and he's committed to education, which is what always satisfied me so much was that he truly believed that any child could reach uh, his or her optimum and that we could do that in a variety of ways, even using interactive to do that. So I thank you for the experiences you gave me and how you worked <coughs> my teaching years. And again, I have some uh, memorabilia, not so much from me, but from the celebration of Minnesota's 150th year in the state. So thank you very much.